If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. So while doing videos as I normally do at night, I ran across another YouTuber who, you know, I, I've, I've never seen before by the name of Chantel Simone, right? She has a platform where she talks about um, a variety of things. Now, the one video that I came across, which is labeled Big Shirley said, passport bros can't compete because their manhood doesn't work. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, just listen to a clip and I'm going to allow you to hear the nonsensical nonsense and how difficult it is for these conversations to actually take place because you have so many people that are in denial um, about the space that they are in currently at the moment. Anti degrees because guess what? A lot of men can't get degrees. They can't come out right. of and they can't stay right. focused enough, so they're jealous that right. they have degrees. Let me, let me. I hear, hear you. But no, 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 because you're gonna make me miss my train of thought, and then you're gonna go on in a, in a different topic. That's not, that's, that's not what we're talking no, about. That's not what. No, I didn't even degree. ask my question yet. I didn't ask my question yet. I'm you said degree. you have. You said it's you have four degrees. degrees. You say you have four degrees, so I want to have this conversation with you. And you were about to be a professor, so let's talk logically, right? Like how professors will talk. Would it make logical sense for a man to stay in a country where there are less of what he wants or go to a country where he has a lot more options? For example, for example, mm -hmm. say I want, I don't know, say I want a, 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 a black ink pen, but in, in America, there is only like, four black ink pens but in in colombia there are like a hundred black ink pens would you recommend that i stay in in america and compete for the four black ink pens or just go to colombia where there are a hundred black ink pens great question great question um let's say let, let me add a little bit to that how about the four ink pens cost a hundred dollars each and when you go and you go to the country that has a hundred ink pens they cost one dollar each so you can have so much more opportunity. And so let me tell you this. I am against the lies and the myths, okay? Wait, 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 wait. You did not, I what? You did not answer my question. I don't understand what, what you mean I'm by- I'm answering it right now. I'm answering it right now. Before I get started, I just want to implore anybody who is watching this video, please go uh, watch the full video. Um, because this is what I'm talking about, right? Now, here you have a- woman melanated woman right she has a platform and she's allowing women you know to come up there and to you know give their opinions on certain things and even a woman who is melanated who has a platform is still getting the aggression she's still getting the mouth she's still getting interrupted she's still getting talked over and the women, the black women that show up, they still can't answer a direct question. You cannot make any of this stuff up. This is proof. And also notice this too, th this difference here, right? The same individual that wants to talk about men uh, not being able to compete um the same woman that wanted to say that oh the reason why uh you know black men don't have degrees is because they don't have the attention span they can't do this they can't do that but yet we can sit up here that that whole comparison i'm better than you type stuff right the same individual who's stating all of this oh uh they can't compete because um <laughs> you know they're not physically in shape uh they don't have the looks they're socially awkward they don't got the money and you know uh, uh, their body parts don't even work properly, right? The same person who was stating all of this, notice how that woman did not show her face. Notice how she did not cam up. Notice how in the background you heard what seemed to be a child coughing. Hmm, interesting. So it seems to me, from what I'm gathering, you have a woman that is jaded and that is hurt and more than likely a single mother. 
and more than likely a woman who is overweight right and she may or or may not you know be on the par of what guys would actually want to be with right so she already got three strikes already got three strikes but yet this is the same one that is trying to tell men that yo i don't know why y'all going over here if you're fat and ugly then you need to sit up there and find somebody that's fat and ugly to be with that's the most ridiculous thing in my life because last time i checked i've seen women who are let's say like lizzo they want a guy who is pretty much in shape they want a guy who does not look like them if you pretty much look at a lot of people people want other people who don't look like them nine times out of ten when you look at couples you're not really going to see a uh, a, a 600 pound couple together like one person is 600 pounds another person is 600 that's that's not usually how that works that's not usually how that works because you know when when, when people get down to things it ain't going to work so you got to have somebody that is the opposite in order to make stuff work like I said before, um, you're not really going to see, you know, too many big girls like a, a, a girl like Lizzo size. She's not going to want a guy that's the exact same size. She's not. Aesthetically, women want a guy that is different. They want a guy that is chiseled. They want a guy who works out. They want a guy who is tall. They want a guy who is muscular. All of those great things. And that's pretty much opposite of what a lot of women are. A lot of women are not going out to the gym continuously. A lot of women are not going out here jogging and running and exercising this, this, that, and the third. Does that then mean that those women out there are wrong for saying that they have a preference for a certain type of men? No, they're not. Just like men are not wrong for stating that, hey, I might be fat, I might be this, I might be that, but you know, I have a preference for this type of woman. They have the right to have that preference. And to sit up there and hear black women trying to shame black men because they have a certain type of preference that in a sense is not their type of size is completely 100% crazy. That is 100% crazy. Because if you ask a lot of women now who their celebrity crush is or who they basically love and, and their, their dream guy, um, their dream guy ain't looking for them. Their dream guy ain't looking for somebody they size. They dream guy ain't trying to be with another woman that got like three, four, five, 18 kids. They dream guy ain't trying to deal with that headache and that problem. Dream guy ain't trying to do that. That's why he's a dream guy. Because he don't exist. It's nice to, to, to fantasize and to have that thought and, and different things of that nature. But as I stated before, um... If black men can't sit up there and tell black women that and you got a melanated woman up here who is talking to a black woman and she can't sit up there and tell her nothing, who can actually tell black women anything? And this is when I sat up there and stated before, the only the only ones that I feel that can actually tell black women something are white men. And I, like I said, I ain't debating this because if we want to look at the corporations if we want to look at the jobs if we want to look at government if we want to look at all of these rules and regulations and how it is that black women move with those things that's white men telling black women what you're supposed to do what you're not supposed to do what is allowed and what is not allowed like i said they're the only ones that can realistically do it i'm just being honest I don't care if people disagree with me in the comment section. I'm going by what I am seeing directly out here in the world. And like I said, back to the, the previous thing that I stated before, even with this woman having this platform, you still have black women coming at her, trying to over talk her, trying to switch the topic. Like the woman was moving a goalpost. The, the, the host literally gave a great example. She was like, oh, man, she really got me in a bind here. Matter of fact, you know, that's a great example. Let me add to that. Maybe the prices of the pen are X, Y, Z. And, you know, those men can't afford X, Y, Z. So this is why they would go to that country. Understand. But maybe if that guy could afford X, Y, Z, then he would compete for one of those pens. That's a hunch. Why in my right mind, if I know that there's only four of something here, and I am one dude 
out of a million. Why am I going to sit up there and be stupid enough to compete for something where I got to, like I said, there's a million guys and I have a chance to get one of these four pins. That's stupid. Why would I not just go to a whole nother area where there are a gang of these pins just so I can pick one? It makes more sense. It has nothing to do with, oh, that's because you can't compete. What? I'm not trying to be in a losing situation. If I really need that pin or, or, or whatever it is, yo, I'm going to go to a place where I can easily just get that. I, I'm not about to sit up there and do that. And, and first of all, who the hell is going to be paying $100 for a pin? Like, that was the stupidest add-on. That was the stupidest add-on to a great example. Who in their right mind, even if you got the money, who's paying $100 for a pin? If, you, if, if you're paying $100, you better hope that comes with refills. You better hope. Like I said before, just imagine if you lose that pin and it's $100. You out $100. Like, whatever, dog. Like, yo, like I said. <sighs> if, if you watch, like I said, go through. I'm going to have the link to the video directly in the comment section please i implore you to go, to go watch the video go listen to the nonsense that the black woman stated it, it is the most illogical oh man like i said if if we got stereotypes out here we have people who fit those stereotypes so because we got people that fit those stereotypes type stereotypes 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 you know kind of true just saying but a lot of people don't want to look at it that way. A lot of people want to feel that, oh, the stereotypes, they're non-existent. Nah, when people want to sit up there and state that, yo, you got black women that are aggressive, that are masculine, that are angry, that are argumentative, that over talk, yada, yada, yada. When you look online, guess what? You can find those exact same stereotypes. This video is a clear cut example of one of those stereotypes. So like I said, I implore y'all to go watch uh, the video, go like in. Uh, subscribe, you know, uh, uh, share that video from the uh, content creator and uh, let me know what you guys think about what I've stated and everything that you were able to see, um, you know, directly on her platform uh, from the full fledged video below.